Hello everybody, it's Wee Paddy here from Across the Shock and uh, as promised another video this weekend and I hopefully I'll have another one tomorrow for you. But today's video, as we see, is on the HX Outdoors TD and it's number 10A. Well, that's what it says here on Gearbest, who supplied this for me for a test. But on the knife itself... It is numbered the TD-10B. So, I can only think, some somewhere along the line it's got mixed up, but this is the price for this one. This is the, the black coated. The other one that they have is exactly the same as this, except it's a satin finish and it's half serrated. So, you can't really mix the two of them up. So, rather than put the details down below, I'll put the number for gear best along this the top of this here if you just go to gear best type in hx outdoors td dash 10a it'll take you straight to that because if i put the other one it's just going to take you somewhere else so um so that is it uh on gear best god that was hard to get out wasn't it now what's it like it's it's an apparent bushcraft sort of night comes in this lovely case uh, the foam insert really is a nice case that you can reuse again if you're a bushcrafter. It's waterproof. It's a, it's a great case. There we go. That's what the knife comes in. Really nice waterproof. I don't know how waterproof it is, but, you know, if you want to put something in there, it'll keep it fairly dry, I'm sure. Um, sorry, that's a picture of the other knife there, so not to be confused with that. Ours is the top one. So... What's it like a knife? Well, I have tested this one pretty thoroughly. Um, one, because I'm paranoid now. <laughs> <coughs> it says it's D2, so my head goes funny. But I genuinely think this is D2, or of a good standard. I really can't say, because I don't do the testing. Um, but HX Outdoors has not been proven wrong to me yet. So, so far, I've had really good results with them and their steel has been good. Um, what I am going to say is that this time, rather than just test it in cardboard and household duties, I have taken it down to the to my assistant, Mr. Biles, and he's tested on cardboard, paper, whatever was down in the bin room. But we also tested it on wood. If you've had any of my videos before, you'll know this wood. It is solid wood. It's been in my apartment for about two years. It's completely dried out and rock solid. So hard to do feather sticks, but this knife managed it okay. So it's done cardboard, feather sticks, everything that I could uh, sort of put to it, it has done it. And it's done it with a plum, I'll have to say. It's not even really struggled. Um... But because it's going to be a bushcraft knife and you could be in amongst bushes chopping and there could be a time that you might slip up and hit the back, that's when you would hit the back of a knife. What I have, to, I'm going to do is do a spine whack test on the back. Let me get a nice clear bit uh, because I've already done this before but I just wanted to do it in front of you so that you'd, I could say that I've done it. So That's fairly um, substantial spine whacking. There we go. Can you see that? <laughs> That's a good spine whack. Now, what I'm going to do is going to move up and I'm going to do the edge because if it's D2 and I can't take a bit of a thump on wood, it's not D2. So. Oh. I am really hitting that. That has been hit quite hard, as you can see. So. And I've done that before, it's not, that's not the first I've done that. So I want you to just show you this blade. <laughs> so, is it razor sharp? No, but it's done an awful lot of testing and it's still not hanging up. I haven't wiped it, I've done this live in front of you. Um, and what I would do is this with my strop and I'm using a new paste. I've got Smurf Poo, but it's in a cream uh, I'll show you the wee container it comes in. I've got a small container of it just to try it. And I'll have to say, I I should have took the glue off that before I put it in my strop. Silly boy. Um, I have to say that I've, I'm finding it really, really good. So there's that. And I just want to make sure that I'm going to get a nice smooth. Look at that. You wouldn't believe that had done any testing. 
that is as good as you like. So I'm quite happy in my own head that that's D2 or a D2 equivalent, whatever that may be. I just know that it works and I am quite happy with how well it works. I think it's D2. But because I don't test, I can't quantify that. And that's going to be the bit of a problem now with with all the testing. Is you know Has yours been tested and is it good? I, I don't know. All I know is that I can tell you what, as it performed for me, uh, the coating on it is really good. It hasn't damaged that. I haven't washed it off. I left it just the way it was. There's glue and everything on it from when I was doing the testing. So to me... With a quick drop like that after thumping it, and it's just razor sharp. That's not 8CR13, let me tell you. It doesn't do that. <laughs> so I'm more than happy with what I'm telling you, is I believe is D2, or a good steal. And you're paying about £34 for this knife today, which is about, say, $40. No, it's going to be more than that. Say $45. Uh, I think that's a good price for what you're getting here. You're getting a good substantial D2. It is, I'm just going to let you see what the, it is across the spine. Now, across the spine, that is over an eighth of an inch. That is just under four millimeters. So it's a good substantial blade. Really is a good substantial blade. The coating seems to be good. I would say that will all come off if I wipe it. Uh, I don't think anything's chipped on it or, you know, it's it's tore into it. It's G10, Torx construction through the knife. It's open back. It's got a liner lock. It locks up about 30%, say. Let me just get that in a better. It's very hard with an old black knife to show you. Anyway, I can tell you it's about 30% across. There's no... Um, no relief on the liners, they're just good solid liners. And at the back inch, say, the metal liners are, we'll see, are added to, if you like, there you go. Um, and they come out to form the butt. Now, this is carbon fibre by the looks of it. I'm just looking at the way it's shown inside. But if not, it's G10. But the both, the metal on either side would be good. If you wanted to break nuts or you wanted to break anything like out there, they are quite adequate. And the knife is heavy enough to do that. The pocket clip, very good. Good, strong retention on it. It'll not come out of your pocket. And it's deep enough to go in any work pants and it gives you a bit to pull. Really, really ideal. Great for a, a, a light bushcraft knife or a work knife. If you work on a building site, I keep saying, it, this is a great building site knife. You know, it's, it's understated, but it's strong, sturdy, and will do any work, yard work, anything. I mean, yeah, it may be a bit dear for a yard knife, but if you want a good work knife that's going to get you through a whole day, go for the D2HX Outdoors. I, I don't think you can go wrong. I genuinely don't think you can go wrong. So the length offer, let's give you a length of the... The blade is about three... It's near touching nearly three and a half. Uh, three and a half inches. And its length is about four and a half. Um... So I'm going to measure that. Let's just see. So that total, let's give it about seven and three quarters, which is fine. That's, that's a good look. Seven, and, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and three quarters. A good size of a knife, a little sturdy work knife. Um, let me do that in centimetres for you. Now, in centimetres, that is about 19 and a half centimetres long, blade length of about eight centimetres. What weight is it? Well, I will tell you now. Just how you wished. How you wished there till I get the weight on it now. We'll close her over. We'll take that wee magnet off it. Now, can you see that? Yet yeah, you can't. Right, there we go. That's in grams. 163 grams. Or 5.7 ounces. So it's just under six inches, which for a work knife, and this is a work come bushcraft knife, if you had any less than that, it wouldn't be substantial enough. And that's the that's the, the honest truth. Please. If it was any less, it wouldn't be substantial enough to be called a work knife. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you now, I've got the wee magnifying glass here, the wee jeweler's magnifying. I just want to show you that edge. Do you see what that edge was like after that beating it took? This is something I'll maybe do more often when I'm doing edge tests. 
look at that edge I can't see anything at all there's nothing oh, let's see if I can get... I'm trying to see if anything's reflecting back at me but there's nothing it does seem and the coating itself yes it's dirty and yes you'll see the wear marks but you know if I didn't do that I wouldn't be testing it but it looks fine that's just white marks I think that will just come off with a wash in fact I've no doubt it will because it's not in the it hasn't taken the coating off good knife yes I think it's a really good knife I'm really happy with it Um, I would recommend this wholeheartedly to me it says it says what it does in the it does what it says in the tin <laughs> It does what it says on the tin. It's a good, sturdy little work knife. Uh, highly recommended by me. Now, today's a special day because my little grandson's down. Um, Sally's babysitting tonight up in their house. Their mummy and daddy's away for a wee night before Christmas. They've gone shopping. And uh, so he wanted to say a couple of wee words. So I'm going to pause you now. And the next time you see it, it'll be my wee grandson, Ollie. Now, this is my grandson, Ollie. And that's my poor wee dog over there with his back to us. Bonnie, there's wee Bonnie, a poor Bonnie had to go to the dentist and Bonnie's 11 and she had to get 11, she's gone, she had to get 11 teeth out Do and she 10. 10 teeth out, all oh, right, Ollie's corrected me, 10 teeth, so Ollie, what do you think of that knife Pops has just done, what do you think of it? Are you okay, Pops? Brilliant, anything else you would like to tell the people? Please subscribe to his channel. Thank you so much, my friend, bye.